All right, welcome back everyone for 11 of our series. Um, we're going to hop in right into uh, solving our little corn issue. So um, I played around with it a little bit. As you can see, I printed out a lot of stuff. Um, one of the issues we have, essentially, here's what we have working so far. Um, we have a farm, and every time I click it, it kind of works. So I can add to the count. Uh, I actually changed the count, sorry. Um, I don't think I did this on stream. Um, so instead of doing the plus one here or whatever was happening there, um, you just access the at i array and then the count and then you just add to it. So that's how we'll add to it. Um, the break, we don't need that. Um, yeah, and so it kind of works as you can see on the bottom. The first array, it finds this one, the corn, and it counts to it three. But every time it still adds one, why is that? Well, I want you to pause and think about it. Why Why is it adding to it still? Um, well, the solution's right here. It's, it's adding it because what's happening is it's looping through the array, right? It's looping through the array. Okay, so let's look at this, this one. We're gonna loop through it. There's only two, one and two. So, so we're gonna go for the first one. Is there a corn? Is the name equal to corn? No. So we're gonna add to it, right? So we add to it. However, so that means we add to it the first time, right? So we added it. The second time we go through it, is this one equal to corn? No. So we add to it again. Boom. We go through the second one. Is this one equal to corn? Yes. So we count the plus one. So that's the problem. The problem is the else statement, essentially. We're checking for things that we shouldn't be checking for, essentially. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a variable called has item. And we'll say is equal to false. And so what we're going to do is and we're going to loop through it through the array still. And what we'll do is actually, we're not going to put it there. We're going to, if corn is in the name, then we'll say has item, oops, has item equals true. Okay. And then, um, what is that? Um, after that, we'll do if has item, We'll put this right out before here. Okay, so we're gonna have to move everything a little bit, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna check after we loop everything. So yeah, but, ah, I just messed up. Um, but that's okay. So essentially what we're doing is, okay, I'm messing up the um, indentation a little bit, but, um, essentially, what we're doing is we're going to check if the, if it has corn at all, right? And if it does, then we add to it. If it doesn't, what we can actually do is take this and then add to it. Um, here we go. No, we'll keep that there, actually. Sorry. Um, so in the after the for loop, we're going to do another for loop. We're going to loop through it again. And then what we'll do is no sorry is we'll check first we'll say if has item then we will loop for it and say if instead of if it's equal or in we'll say if it's equal to this time so yeah there we go okay so here's the logic sorry that took me a second to like think out so we're going to check for a player. If it is, that's good. That's what we want. Um, we're going to loop through the, the array. We're going to find if the corn is inside that array, right? If it is, we say has item equals true. We don't have to set it to false because it's already to false. Right? We don't have to do an else statement. And then after this loop, we're still following the if it's a player. If it has an item, if the has item is true, right? Then we'll loop through the thing again, and then we'll find which one is the array. So the reason why we couldn't do this before is because if if we're checking if something is equal to corn, then it might err. Um, although I think that actually could work. So I just realized that could work. Um, but either way, we'll do this for now. Um, and if it does not exist, if the item it does not exist, we'll add to it instead. And then we'll queue free in the end. So we'll put that right there. And then we should be able to just take that out. And then... Let's try it. Let's see if it works. 
All right, so it added to it, and it added to it, and another and another. So I didn't have to wait for it to be finished because I never coded that in yet. There we go. There's our count. All right, so next thing we're going to do is um, in our body, um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to check if the stage is, is bigger than or equal to 5, right? Because we don't want to harvest it early. That doesn't make sense. Um, so yeah, another thing we're going to do is we're actually going to remove the get parent equal seed equal false. And we're going to actually take this, we're going to control X, and we're going to put it down here with the Q3. And then we're also going to take all this, and we're going to copy it to the tomato. Um, yeah, we're just going to copy it for now. So we're going to go to the corn. We're going to do body, uh, no, not corn. We're going to have to open our tomato scene, do body entered, connect it, and just copy paste. But and then instead of corn, we'll do tomato. And then we just copy all this and paste it. And now if I launch, it'll error because this game hates me. Now I have to save and load. Let's play. Let's plant two different seeds. And now I shouldn't be able to harvest them early, but I can still harvest it. And it didn't print it because I don't think I printed it anymore, actually. Yeah, I, I didn't print it. That's OK, though. It's still there. It still works. And then I can plant another seed. And the corn goes a lot faster, which is fine. However, I cannot harvest early, right? So that is good. That's how it's supposed to work. Awesome. And that's it. That's how we harvest. Um, one thing we can do to make sure we know how to or we can in have an indication of it. Um, we'll we'll get started on our inventory. So we'll name this inventory. We'll save it in our UI. Put it right here. And in here, what we can do is go into our free inventory and go. You can kind of look through all the styles and drag out whatever you want. I think. I think. Um, which one do I want to use? Let's use let's use this one for now. I don't know. Let's just take a random one. And then we'll transform it and double it in size because I don't like how small it is. And I'll kind of center it a little bit. Putting it right there. And I'll do name, rename it to BG. I'm going to lock it. And then I'm not going to do anything complex right now. So I'm just going to add a label and built-in script. And then in here, I'm going to, I'm not going to delete everything. I'm actually just going to delete this. No, oh, sorry about that. And in our process function, I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to say text.self. No, that's wrong. Self.text equals aim.harvest. Yep, harvest dot. This one will be tomatoes, so we'll do dot, no, not dot, sorry. Ah, we're going to have to loop through it and find it. <laughs> so we're going to have to use the same logic, actually. So, yeah, no, you know what? Let's assume we know that the, the harvest has tomatoes. So we'll do, yeah, no, we're going to have to find it, actually. We'll do if corn in, yeah, no, we're going to actually loop through it. Okay, so we're gonna have to loop through it. For loop i and whatever, um, if corn and whatever, then we do equals count. That should work, hopefully. Our side, blah, blah, blah. And ah, I never added the inventory, so that doesn't make sense. Of course it makes sense, it wouldn't work. So we add our inventory. Uh, I'm going to center it by making it zero zero, and then if I save it, it should pop up somewhere. Where's my label? Let me put it right there. Um, center, center. Let's type something in to make sure. If corn, ah, there's no corn yet. So, okay, what's going on here? Ah, I have to convert it. Okay, int. 
no, sorry, not int. I have to convert it to string. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's try one more time. Okay, this one's a uh, corn. This is a bit awkward because we shouldn't be doing that, but there we go. There's our corn. Count two. So that's how we can count to two, basically. We're not count to two. That's not really what we're doing, but you get the idea. So that's the corn. And now we got three corn. And this can work with tomato as well. So now we know our count, our in little inventory is kind of working. Um, last thing we'll do before we end the video is I'll actually add a close button. Um, what I'll do is, hmm, I'm wondering, I wonder if there's an inventory with like close. All these inventories are a bit weird. All right, you know what? What we can do is we'll add a script, create an inventory. And then we'll do function input um, if event dot is action pressed. We'll do put an auto load, no auto load. Sorry, input map um, inventory. We'll add it, and then we'll add the physical key e, just like Minecraft. And then we'll go into here. And then if it's inventory then we're going to close this. So self dot hide. Um, what we can actually do is if self dot hide, no, um, not hide, visible, visible equals true, then we'll hide it else self dot show. So now I should be able to just click E and it, this game hates me. Um, I'm going to, I'll fix that bug in a bit, but for now, now I can click E and show and hide it. Awesome. All right. So now I can move around. I have nothing in my inventory, kind of. I have one corn. There we go. There's our little working inventory. All right. Um, for homework, I want you guys to figure out the bug when, oh, close this. Ooh, interesting. Oh, sorry. That's why. Okay, so basically what's happening is if my thing is full, and then I think if I close it again, hmm, why isn't it airing anymore, actually? Okay, I think one thing I'll do is function ready um, self dot hide because that's getting a bit annoying. Mm, let's try closing it. Okay, there we go. Here's our error. Um, so I want you to figure out why this is happening. Uh, if you can figure this out, you get a thumbs up from me. Um, and I will fix this next time, though. Um, so if you can't figure it out, that's OK. We'll figure it out together next time. Um, and I will see you guys next time.